This energetic piece is called Halloween. Welcome to the third part of Play with Piano. This time we move on to the third volume, Fast Forward, of Catherine and You College. And like before, we show you the cello part, but I highly recommend that you buy the music too. I'm sure you can get it in a music store in your neighborhood, or if not, you can try to order it through the internet at, for instance, musicroom.com. Now, let's have a look at the cello part of Halloween. Halloween has no accidentals. That means it is either in C major or in A minor. In this case, it is A minor. Then, it is written in 4-4. Four four. We know that already four beats in a bar. New is the repeat. We have these houses one and two and when you play it the first time you go into house one then you repeat it from the beginning again then you skip house one and go directly into house two and then continue the piece. The rhythm is relatively easy. We know that already. We have quarters, half notes, a whole note too, eighth notes too, but this is new. At the very beginning we have a dotted rhythm. I'll explain that later. I said Halloween is in A minor, so let's play a natural A minor scale. We start on the G string, first finger A, then third, B, fourth, C, D, open string, first, E, second, F, fourth, G, and here's our A again, and for Halloween we need two more notes, the following B and the C. These are our notes for Halloween. Now the dotted rhythm. We count one, two, three, four, and the first bar goes one, two, and three, four. Again, one, two, and three, four. This is repeated and so on. At the beginning of the second part, we have those four eight notes under one bow. First bar goes straight. Now the four eighth notes. That's all you have to know in this piece, except for the energy. The energy we create by the bow. So don't play a slow bow. Go fast and energetic. Now you practice it slowly, many times. And then when you are able to play it through without mistakes, 
without stopping and without thinking too much, you try to play with me. I'll play the whole thing for you again, or you just listen to that version. And finally, we have the piano alone for you, for your practice. First, I give you an A. And now, I wish you much fun. The piano has two bars. The second piece today is called Weeping Willow. It offers us a couple of new things in our program. Let's have a look at the cello part. Weeping Willow has no accidentals, which means, as we know, either C major or A minor. This time we call it A minor. It is a different mode, but that is too complicated now. Let's think it is A minor. Then it is written in 3-4. This is new. Three beats in one bar. Then you see it at the end of the first line. It has the same note but repeated on one bow. And in the second line in the middle you see that two bars are tied on one bow. Even with a pause in between. How we execute that I'll show you. The piece begins on E, third finger, C string. And then we have a dotted rhythm. We know it already. One, two, and three. But all on one bow. Another dotted rhythm. And here, 
same note repeated on one bow. We get there, up bow, and play the next one with up bow too. So we have to slow down the bow and start it again. I play the beginning again for you. it same procedure slowly until you can play it through without mistake and without stopping and then join us I mean me and me or just listen to us and then finally you can play with piano alone I wish you much fun piano has five beats before us Thank you for joining us. I hope you enjoyed these charming pieces and I hope to see you again soon. Take care and so long. <laughs>